Apple recently released the beta for iPad OS 17 and I've been testing it out for a couple of weeks. And while the final version won't be out until September, I wanted to give you guys some of the highlights and some of my favorite features coming to this update. I'm not going to be covering everything coming out in iPad OS 17. There is tons of cool stuff coming. I will have an article linked below where you can check out everything that's coming with this update, but I just wanted to give you guys my standout features and my favorite things coming. From new wallpapers to new digital stickers, I think this is an update you guys are going to be really excited about, so let's get into it. Starting off with the home screen updates for iPad, I'm really excited about this. We can finally edit our home and lock screens with new wallpapers and different widgets. This was an update that came to iPhone last year and it was something that I was so excited to have on iPad. So I'm excited that it is finally coming in September. We now get access to tons of new wallpapers that are super customizable. I've been having tons of fun making a bunch of different lock screens and having them all set up so that way I can just easily switch between lock screens whenever I want to refresh. I love all of the different versions of wallpapers that come with this update, including all of the different planets. We now get access to tons of cool gradients, which you guys know I love a gradient wallpaper, and now you can choose between tons of different types of gradients, edit the color to what you want it to be, so you have endless gradients right Right there built into your iPad. You can now create wallpapers based on different emojis. You can do any type of emoji combination you like. You can flip through all of the different patterns that it comes with. And I had tons of fun making different emoji covers, trying different emoji combinations. There's also new options for setting photos as your background. You can swipe through with the different filters to make your photos look a certain way on your home screen. You can also choose different colors to edit the background of your photo. And we also have the depth effect, which allows you to move a certain part of your photo above the time. I also love how you can now edit the font and color of your date and time on your lock screen. And most excitingly, we now have widgets on our lock screen, both in portrait and landscape mode. This is great to just quickly reference your calendar, reminders, the weather, all of these different things that you can just quickly look at on your lock screen. And you can now create home screen and lock screen pairs. So you can edit your home screen as you're editing your lock screen. You can do different colors, gradients. You can just blur out the photo that you currently have as your wallpaper, making it really easy to create cohesive home and lock screens. <laughs> Home screen widgets are now interactive, so you can pause and play music on different widgets, check off your reminders, turn on and off your lights. So now some of the widgets on your home screen can actually be useful instead of just when you tap on them, them taking you to the Widgetsmith app. And this just makes it more productive to quickly reference things on your home screen and from your different widgets. Next, I wanted to talk about the update made to Stage Manager on iPad. Stage Manager was a feature added in a previous update, but now you have a lot more freedom to move things around and resize things, have things overlapping. You can move anything, even like a little centimeter to the right or to the left. It's all very fluid, whereas in the previous update, it had a lot more structure, but now it is super customizable. You can create all of these different layouts and just quickly access different apps right there on the left side of your screen while also having a bunch of of apps open simultaneously at the same time. This takes multitasking to a whole new level. One of the most exciting updates for me is the new stickers drawer. The stickers drawer lets you access all of your live stickers, emojis, memojis, and other sticker packs all in one place. Your stickers sync with iCloud so that you can have them across your iPhone, iPad, and other Mac devices. This is really awesome and it allows you to use stickers in a lot of different places on your iPad, so of course you can use them in messages, but you can also use these stickers in GoodNotes, which is really exciting because this means that you can have access to tons of new digital stickers right there in your 
app and you can see here on the top of the screen that whenever you download a new third-party app there is a potential for them to have a sticker pack that you can download and have in your sticker drawer for example i have the urban outfitters app on my ipad and they have a really cute sticker pack that i'm using right now that has tons of cute urban outfitter stickers you can also create your own stickers from pictures so you just force press on it you can see there's my dog then you'll click add sticker and you can even add different effects to it You can also use this sticker drawer in apps like Freeform. And I just love that this sticker drawer is now becoming more available on all of these different apps so that you can use digital stickers on a lot of different places. Interacting and editing with PDFs just got much better on iPad. You can now easily edit PDFs. You can also annotate or sketch directly on PDFs and scan documents in your note using the Apple Pencil. We also now have enhanced autofill, which securely pulls from your contacts to autofill your contact information right into the PDF, making it really easy and quick. And my final favorite feature is the notes update, which allows you to link to other notes within your notes app. So if you're writing something down in a note and you want to quickly reference another note somewhere else, you can easily link to it and whenever you tap on it, it'll take you to that note. I feel like this update was much needed and I'm going to be using this all of the time. This makes it so easy to cross-reference different notes and just keep your notes organized. And those are all of my favorite updates coming to iPadOS 17. Like I said, it is coming out in September, but right now the public beta is out. So if you do want to try it, definitely give it a shot. Although I would definitely recommend backing up all of your information on iPad because anytime you're using a public beta, there's always a chance of information or things being deleted. So just make sure that you back up your stuff if you want to try this out, but you can also wait until the full final version is out in September. Let me know below what your favorite feature is or what your most excited for. Also let me know if there's any big feature that I missed that you want me to cover next. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!